I was, it's very nice to be here. Thank you for the invitation to, to the organizers. Uh, I published previously in the Annals of L'Institut du Pancré, uh, and it's, it's nice to see the institute that's running the journal. <laughs> uh, uh, I was encouraged by the organizers to make a, a Blackboard talk, so majority of the talk will be on the Blackboard. And uh, I decided to simply present some proofs I, that are related to the uh, entropy region and uh, that uh, many of you may know. Uh, and, uh, Hopefully you will be not bothered by the proofs, yes. <laughs> so, uh, and in the second part I will then speak about uh, le later development and at the very end about the paper I wrote uh, last, last year on, on matroids. So let's start with the, the basic uh, notation. Uh, we have a probability space, should be bigger, yes. And a uh, random variable. with uh, some state space x. And uh, I will mostly assume that x is finite. Uh, and we compute the entropy. And so we have to look at the it's, it's endowed with the probability p. So we compute probability of all omega such that psi omega is prescribed element of x. This is, let's say, small px. And the Shannon entropy of the variable, this random variable, is, uh, well, everybody knows, px log px. Uh, and and it, it depends only on those probabilities. So, so from the very beginning, I may assume that, uh, that uh, the probability is everywhere finite, because the points were for its small omega where p is zero are not interesting. So I would say that p is adjusted to omega, which means p omega is positive for all omega. And the same with x. Uh, I don't care about the values that uh, come with positive probability. So uh, each, for each x, px is positive, which means uh, x is adjusted. To psi, yes, means px positive. So this is uh, entropy for reasonable people like here. It's it's a measure of uncertainty, uh, for, yeah, but if you look to internet, it may have uh, very different meanings. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, entropy is title of uh, of a movie. <laughs> entropy is title of several CDs. <laughs> Uh, the, well, uh, communists uh, did have entropy. In, so, in communist sociology, there was notion of social entropy. And that was uh, allegedly uh, a research direction of West sociologists who, uh, 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 who claimed that the, the development of society goes to chaos. And that was considered by, by communists for, for pseudoscience. <laughs> So uh, uh, entropy might be, uh, entropy is also uh, the title of, of a computer game. It's a flight simulator. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's uh, also a name of a hero in another computer game. And, uh, and of course, uh, there are serious things. You know, I mean, in, in physics, uh, there's Boltzmann and, and statistical physics. And, and in, uh, in medicine, they have uh, uh, brain entropy measuring kind of functioning of of, of brain and such things, yes. But the best hit you, you, you would find for entropy on internet, or, or I was able to find on entropy, is entropy radiator. So what is entropy radiator? It's a super cooling system for horsepower racing cars. <laughs> OK, then, then I, I'm speaking about measure of uncertainty, yes? Uh, this, this was one variable, but th there are several in, in, in the game. Uh, and what matters is just, uh, well, if you, you look at this point, so what matters is the set of omega such that, well, I, it's, I can write it psi to the minus x, yes? And these sets are 
uh, disjoint and they partition omega. And what matters in the definition is only the probabilities of the blocks of the partition. Yes, and okay, as I told, there are several, several random variables. I will have them n on, on the same space. Well, each has a uh, state space uh, on the same basic probability space. Each has the same. Uh, each has a state space. State spaces are adjusted. Probability is positive, and then uh, I compute the entropies. All ent all entropies. So psi i will be subvector for a subset of n. This is the set of all integers up to one to n, and we compute entropy of that. Okay, so if, if, if I denote this psi i, then it's a function entropy of psi i. Yes. As people say, this is not h, but this is uh, capital eta. Uh, uh, from, uh, but uh, but I, I'm not quite sure because I, I, I looked to, uh, to, 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 well, to, well, to some dictionaries and, and people in, in Greek it should be. And it's not eta, it's epsilon. <laughs> so I, I'm confused with that. OK, so this, is, uh, this function is called entropy function. Entropy function. Uh, so it's, uh, th there are two viewpoints. Either I look at it as a function, or I collect all values, all values. Uh, and this is a point. And th this is, then this is called entropic point. Uh, in in a space, yes. Let's say two to the n. Uh, so far, uh, the restrictions on the state space, uh, th th there is only one. They are all finite. That that's the usual restriction to to have the the expression finite. Uh, and uh, l l so, if if you look at the set of all entropy points, I will denote it well. Fat H and uh, th then this is the entropic region. And that's what we are interested in, yes. Uh, may maybe I, I will write on another black blackboard open problems. Uh, so, first open problem is. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yes, I will say more about that yes, during the lecture. But uh, first, open problem is if I if I relax the assumption that the state spaces are finite, but let's maybe they are only countable, and I don't know whether I get more points. That's problem one. <laughs> problem one: if I define H, maybe say countable entropic. So is it strictly bigger? I don't know whether, whether, whether this is equal or maybe, maybe write that way. I asked several people, for example, Fleming Topso, who is, who is very good in that uh, entropy uh, topologies, and, and he didn't know. So it, it's, it's about the uh, three variables. If you take n equal to three, then it's not clear whether. I, 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 I cannot decide this. What, what, what does it mean? Uh, well, uh, yes, I, I, OK, I will explain this. These are entropic points with a countable, with, with variables, with variables having a countable state spaces. OK? Closure is the same, yes. That, that's that's clear. But but I have single point. Okay? I mean, uh, it's interesting <laughs> to, to to see such thing, yes, or, or whether it, it exists, yes. Yes, and uh, and, uh, and n equal to two is, is trivial. So pr problem two is uh, has has been exposed here, but I, I will repeat it. 
is uh, what is H entropic three, yeah. and uh, only a few comments to that. It's, it's on the boundary. It's a problem on the boundary, but it's it's not just a theoretical problem. Like to to, to see some entropy, some point somewhere. But I, I think this is a problem from from cryptography because three things mean for me uh, message, key, and, and ciphertext. And you want uh, certainly message independent of of, of the size detects, so that the eavesdropper cannot cannot uh, do inference on the message. But you may want more. You may want, uh, and, and this, this this single assumption uh, pushes the point to the boundary, and it is where, where the problem is problem <laughs> where the problem is openness. It's exactly that case. So if you want to uh, understand. I mean this one pet, one time pet <laughs> encryption in, in full detail I mean with, with any kind of of other uh, other assumptions like key independent of message and key independent of ciphertext and, and conditionally something and, and, and you want to to, uh, to understand it on small state spaces then that's the problem so, so that's motivation for for problem too So, okay, we are studying this entropy region. Uh, has been told that uh, it's not convex. But I want to, to say more or, or about that, or, or to repeat what, 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 you, what you know. Uh, so the, the, basic, the most basic example of entropic point is when I take one random variable and I repeat it. Yes, that's uh, that's what I will denote by R one n. So this will be maybe t is some positive number. This is t for i uh, non-empty and zero for i. It's always zero for i empty. Yes, and uh, th this is uh, cru crucial. I mean, one of the crucial and entropic points. And why? why? Uh, because of the following lemma. Uh, wait, 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 because before I do the lemma, I have to remind another thing. This entropic region is closed to the sums. Or maybe this will be lemma zero. <coughs> uh, why? Because if I take one vector and second vector, uh, I can make them independent. And then uh, doing the pairing, if I have one vector with xi i and second with eta i, then I create a new vector. And each, each uh, variable of a new vector will, will, have, will consist of two components. And uh, when, when you compute the entropy, then you will find that it's close to the sums. It's, it's not, not much to be close to the sums, because they are uh, very peculiar sets that are close to the sums. And it, it doesn't help much. But it's, it, it, though it's not, not convex, uh, we, we will see that it's not convex. It, uh, it is something like almost convex using, using this, this special uh, entropy function. Yes, and I should say that this is entropic, yes. Because for any t, I can take variable with entropy t. Well, provided the space is big enough. So lemma one would be if uh, I, I will denote those functions like small g or h if g is uh, entropic. And alpha is alpha, beta are positive. Uh, then uh, alpha g plus beta r one n is entropic. And since beta is very small, it's like multiplying g. Beta maybe. So it's almost uh, almost like convex, <laughs> and this is the direction that makes the things uh, uh, complicated. 
So this, that, that's why, why this uh, entropic point or entropy function is uh, exceptional in, in, in the whole story. And how to prove it? I learned the proof from, from an early paper by Raymond Yang and Jin Zhang. Uh, so I, I'm going to do the proof. Um, OK, we have uh, G's entropic. So you need more explanation, OK? No? G's entropic, that means I have variables. And the uh, entropy of psi i is gi. So imagine the variables. Uh, here is the space. And, and there are partitions. Uh, for each uh, variable, there is one partition. So let's say this will be one partition. This will be second partition. And they are, they are n of them. And to compute that entropy, I, I have to make blocks of the corresponding pa partition, the small blocks, and compute the expression. Uh, so uh, the trick is uh, to add one more. Th this was omega, yes. The trick is to add one more element to, to omega. And uh, that, let, let, let me denote it by infinity. And uh, then I have to, uh, so, so new omega will be omega till now, omega union, new element. And uh, what is the probab new probability? New probability, so I had, uh, yeah, on, on the space I had the probability that came with probability. A new probability is uh, combination of the old and, and, and some weight in, in the new point. So P uh, hat is, uh, uh, let's say, a delta um, P omega. Delta is some, uh, some positive parameter uh, for omega in the original omega. And P hat infinity is 1 minus delta. So things sum to one, yes. So it's new probability. Uh, I have new new space, and, and, and on, on a new space, uh, omega tilde p tilde. Uh, I'm going to define n partitions. So how, how to define them? Like like the old one plus plus one block. Each each one has one more block more. So uh, uh, new partition is uh, uh, has the same blocks. like uh, xi i and, and the block with uh, the exceptional element. And what is the new entropy? Yes, the new entropy is, uh, so I, if I'm not going to compute new entropy of, uh, of some uh, set of, of, the, of the new variables, then uh, uh, the, the new variables have uh, have the same blocks, and one more, yes. So I compute minus uh, uh, minus, and uh, here are all blocks. So it's the delta times um, probability that uh, well this uh, this old vector has some value, maybe small x i, x i is. Uh, from the product of the state spaces. Yes, the variables have state spaces. Now, now, now I'm writing in the state spaces. I cannot write it uh, nicely through blocks. Or, or, could, or I could write it, yes, maybe. Uh, probability of B, where B is block of do you see it over the, over the table? Yes. Yes. Okay. This times log log of that, and one more expression for the additional block, which is uh, minus uh, the additional block has this probability, 
1 minus delta log 1 minus delta. And this is, uh, yes, I have to, to put apart the logarithm into two parts, and I g will get delta h psi i plus the, the very uh, uh, f famous uh, expression for the entropy of binary variables. And this works for all i which are not empty. For empty, it's, it, it doesn't work because the block is only one, <laughs> including d1. And so, so what, what did we get? The, uh, the conclusion is that, uh, uh, the, so, so this is a new, uh, new entropy function. I will denote it g hat. And g hat is uh, delta g plus uh, this entropy, entropy of delta 1 minus delta, yes, times R1n. R1n should be 1, yes, no, not to have problems. And we can conclude that if this was entropic, then this is entropic. G is entropic. And uh, let, let's, have, let's have a picture of what's going on in two dimensions. Here is G, and here is in this direction, and here is R1n. <coughs> so G is entropic, and all such things are entropic. So if I have them here at the delta, uh, on top I have this. So all that points are entropic. And then the uh, all, all multiples of R1 are entropic. All that points are entropic. It's close to sums, so all that region is entropic. Yes? And then I apply uh, the, the idea to 2G. 2G is also entropic because it's closed. So I do the same picture. It's like here. And I conclude that all that things are entropic about the second graph. It's epi epigraph. <laughs> and, and repeat with 3G, etc., and you fill in the whole half, whole quadrant. That's uh, why beta can be arbitrarily small. <coughs> so it's almost, almost, con uh, it's almost close to multiples, up, up, up to that, uh, that one uh, direction. But th this observation doesn't help in problem two because unfortunately that, that direction goes inside. <laughs> yes? If you want to, to divide some uh, entropic point and, uh, by two, uh, then this construction uh, shows how to approximate this. How to approximate this, exactly. Uh, with small alphabet, with small alphabet. Uh, no. Uh, I, I, I had a, an example uh, that that's, it was a very short paper on, on, the, on that problem many years ago. And uh, I, I don't remember axis, but one of the axes was uh, uh, rank 2, 3 for sure. I don't remember the second, uh, the second, and it was uh, a part of the of the boundary of this, yes, two-dimensional part of, of the boundary, and it looked like this. Yes, but this is not the answer to your question. Yes, sorry. That was this part. But you, you can, uh, you, you are asking whether with the small state space you can approximate. So such thing cannot be approximated on that face. But it can be approximated from inside, yes. Uh, and whether it's possible with small state spaces, I don't know. OK, thank you. Uh, so this was uh, something like closure to.
and this gives convexity. So yes, uh, convexity of the uh, of the closure. So uh, the, well, next step is uh, well, we, if, if this object is too complicated, then we do closure. Yes, closure of uh, H and yes, and I call this. Uh, points of disclosure almost entropic and this is uh, uh, convex because it's closed to, uh, well it has a set close to sums and uh, uh, close to multiples so but by the two lemmas is convex by lemma 0 1 and it's uh, closed of course by construction uh, for, for three variables, it's, it's clear what was going on, and with four, this is where, where the research is going on. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, next uh, uh, next theme I want to expose is uh, uh, the relation of uh, of the problem to the group theory. Yes, which is by. Uh, Terence uh, Chan and, and Raymond Yang. So, and it, it's based on another construction. Here, here the construction was uh, quite straightforward. Yes, just one point uh, in addition, and uh, uh, the the construction I learned from from Chan and Raymond Yang <coughs> is uh, uh, a bit more. Cons uh, Involved, so here will be construction. It starts again with uh, space and random variables. Maybe I, I, I repeat it. This omega p. Yes, before before going into the construction, I have to <laughs> do uh, other other small uh, approximation. Uh, maybe be here lemma lemma two. If I have this omega, if uh, G is almost entropic, then uh, there exists uh, maybe H entropic uh, from variables uh, sitting uh, on omega with uniform probability measure. So if, if we don't care about the, whether point is entropic or only whether it's almost entropic, then it's possible to approximate uh, uh, all entropy points, uh, all almost entropic points by entropic points that sit on a state space omega with uniform uh, distri uh, distribution. So uh, probability of each such omega would be 1 over uh, cardinality of omega. Which helps because it, it becomes combinatorics. It's just uh, about uh, the cardinalities of blocks. And how, how this is done? Uh, well, uh, it's, it's, it's no need to, to say long proof. Uh, for first, I uh, manipulate uh, P to some Q such that Q is rational, which means all, all values are rational. Uh, by, by continuity, the entropy is changed only, only slightly. And uh, then if it's rational, uh, maybe some point has um, probability maybe L omega over sum of L omega prime. Then, then uh, let, let's uh, split the point into uh, L omega and other points. So this point uh, omega will be split into L omega new points and uh, 
each point, uh, well, uh, this is done for every every uh, elementary event, and, and then, then the, the new probability is uniform and things work, yes. The cardinalities of the blocks, well, I mean, probabilities of the blocks become cardinality of new blocks. Uh, so this is trivial lemma, and I, I needed it uh, to do the construction, and in the construction, P is uniform. So I start with uh, uh, uniform uh, probability measure on a finite space, and I have those, those partitions, uh, maybe only one here. And now, now it, it, it's again the same idea to, to split the point. And point is split to each point omega is, uh, so, so this is omega p, a new, new space omega, uh, let's say, m. m is integer. Uh, and pm will be again uniform. So this is obtained from the original space by splitting each element to m once. Here they are m, m elements. So that uh, the cardinality of each block becomes m times bigger. And now we, we had here on the left some uh, uh, variables, xi1, xi2. And, and on the right, we have uh, we, we keep the same structure of partition, but uh, the, the points are split. So I have here another of, uh, well variables, let's say with tilde. And now what's the, what the uh, so this is the construction. What's the new entropy? The old entropy was, let's say, the, uh, the old entropy function was G. Entropy function of Xi i and nu is G tilde. Well, well, I, I, I don't care actually about the the new entropy function. The trick is uh, now, now, uh, and this is the trick I, I like, like from the paper, because it's it's in the, in the best traditions of information theory. Uh, the trick is to look uh, not at, at those partitions in this space, but to look at the uh, symmetric group of this omega n. So, symmetric group of this omega n in the group of all permutations. And now, uh, for each uh, partition, uh, this, this, this new partition, I mean, it de depends on m even. Yes, I should write m. Uh, on it, for each new partition, which means uh, blocks, I, I look to the group and I look to all the permutations that leave the blocks invariant, which are stabilizers. So, so H, H I will be stabilizer of this partition. And now, uh, what, what is the, if, if I take uh, the whole vector of such things, what is the stabilizer? So. Uh, if I have two partitions and I want to stabilize both, then I have to stabilize the, the intersections of blocks. So uh, this is the stabilizer, and if I want to, uh, uh, it's a uh, it's intersection of of, of, those, of those groups. Yes. So stabilizer is is intersection of those groups.
And now, now let's define new new partitions. Uh, and the, the, so so I, I will take new space will be uh, uh, this symmetric group uh, with uniform distribution, or maybe P uh, M. A new partition will be uh, left cosets of, of this of this stabilizer. Uh, left cosets of H i. And then uh, uh, for, for the vector, these will be left cosets of the intersection. So the group is uh, nicely partitioned by the left cosets. And then now what, what, what the entropy here? Entropy of uh, eta i. The distribution was uniform. It's, it's simply the number of left, left cosets. Uh, well, it's computed from the, so it's minus sum. Uh, it's logarith uh, logarithm. And here is a uh, number of uh, left cosets of intersection h i. And this can be computed. <laughs> this is uh, uh, this is what, what is uh, traditional in probability. <laughs> probability. How, how many they are? If I have here blocks, then uh, uh, the state space uh, omega m has cardinality m times original because every point was divided into m. And uh, now I have to sum over. I have some blocks, yes. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, and for each block, I want to, to keep the, uh, the block uh, invariant. So I take only permutations that permute the elements within the block. And the uh, original block was, uh, let's say, b. So new block was n times b uh, of, of the size, yes, of the size. Well, I, I shouldn't write n times b. Uh, so it's m times b. Yes, uh, and uh, so th this is the size of the of the uh, group factorial of that. Uh, this is uh, these are permutations that conserve single block, and I have to do product over blocks from the original psi i. This is multinomial coefficient. Which is nice, and uh, um, so this entropy, this new entropy, maybe I will write it like g hat uh, of i is a logarithm of this uh, depends on m g hat m. So how much is it? Uh, you, sh you should help me. Yes, it's factorial. It's uh, m omega over e to m omega plus some small terms. And uh, the same in denominator with the product. Yes, and uh, uh, certainly the b uh, omega is uh, sum of, of, of the b cardinality. So what do I get? Uh, yes. What what I missed? 
Next step is uh, exponent. Uh, it it sh should be sum, yes, minus sum. Well, I, I well for what I should should uh, uh, cancel it. This yes, uh, and then things become more nicely. So I should get uh, here minus. Uh, Log this over over log this. Mm -hmm. Log uh, b over omega s. Yes. And here will be b m. Yeah, it, it's it's too complicated. It's becoming complicated for me. <laughs> it, it's because I want to do many things to the, together. Yes, so so the top sum is uh, m omega two and b and becomes. Uh, comes in front, yes. So, so this is, uh, and then uh, I put omega here and here, and then I get uh, m cardinality of omega times original entropy of psi i, which is m omega gi. And now I have no no space for for theorem. <laughs> so this was construction starting from partitions, uh, splitting each element looking at the symmetry group and uh, at the stabilizers and on, on a new space based on the symmetry group and uniform distributions we looked at the cosets and computed uh, uh, the uh, and I looked at uh, uh, computed the entropy and the new entropy is so theorem is uh, if uh, G is uh, entropic uh, from uh, variables on a space with a uniform probability measure, then uh, this uh, GM hat which is uh, M times uh, the probability space omega, cardinality omega G, is okay. This they should be that one. Is entropic. Oh, well, what is uh, Well, yes. Uh, so this is yes, the first version of the theorem. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I have to do right here something like this. Yes, to, to get the things. Uh, and here I have to write plus O M. Yes. Which means in each coordinate, O M. And uh, this shows that uh, if if I use uh, this the, the, this lemma, yes, I can divide by the M. And this shows that G, uh, well, I, <coughs> so so conclusion is. G 
g can be approximated by uh, g entropic <coughs> by another uh, entropic point which comes from groups yes. by let's say h uh, constructed from uh, from a subgroup configuration <coughs> in a symmetric group well up 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 to multiple So uh, I, I like the result because it's uh, about classical asymptotics uh, that, that has been in probability and in information theory many times and I like it because it comes to groups and it, it, it's uh, of course not practical pr probably and uh, I, I, I cannot use it to, to describe the, the entropy region but uh, conceptually it's very nice to, to reduce everything to, to groups. Well, I, I still have a few minutes, yes. OK, so the next problem is that uh, maybe negative that, that blackboard. I have a younger colleague, and we have considered uh, a, a version of the problem with uh, random sequences. So in, in this problem, there are. Uh, random variables but you, you may imagine this is just just a starting uh, column of a, of a multivariate uh, sequence so I may have another maybe this will be one this is one it will be time two and the sequence is running it's, it's a multivariate sequence and I can look at uh, of course I assume it's stationary and I make uh, for each set of rows I can compute the rate uh, so for each I uh, entropy rate of uh, of this uh, you have here some I Of, of this uh, subsequence and the alpha alphabets are, are finite so this is well-defined notion so I would get uh, a rate function a rate of the sequence xi here is time and here is i and, and time goes on Uh, I, I, I only say, say the problem, yes. I, I will not, not develop on that. But uh, the, the problem, uh, okay, you compute the rates, and it's clear that you get another region, which is, however, not bigger than, than the closure. Be because the rates are computed like, like limits. So, so it must be, uh, re remain in the closure. And I don't know whether we, we get the closure. That, that's, that's a very nice problem. I mean, if I denote this by rate, so it's certainly contained in the closure, but th this is a problem in So with three variables, you get the closure exactly, because there is some trick with time sharing. OK. Yeah, you probably can do, do proof by, uh, by yourself. Uh, so it's a nice, uh, nice problem. And uh, my, my colleague is in ergodic theory, and uh, he, he propagated the problem in the community. And qu quite a several uh, famous people 
uh, looks at it and it, it's open. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you.